Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do another bottle video. I had a request for that, so, uh, or a couple requests, so um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to show you some bottles that you can use. Uh, this is a flavored lemonade that is really good, by the way, but it makes a good bottle. And uh, this one is a YooHoo bottle, and I feel like it has kind of the look of a milk bottle. Uh, and then this one is um, Starbucks cappuccino, or, or actually iced coffee drink. And I think both of these look a lot like a milk bottle. So they could be done farmhouse style. Um, this one is uh, red wine vinegar, and, and it, I think it's a really pretty bottle. Uh, but I'm not going to be doing this one since it still has um, product in it. And then this one um, is an olive oil bottle. Um, sometimes you may have to pay slightly more for a certain brand to get the bottle. But uh, like this apple juice is a more expensive apple juice. But then you have the, the bottle. So you don't have to. Uh, and if you find these in thrift stores, you have to pay at least a dollar for them usually so this one is a whiskey bottle i think um i thrifted several bottles at goodwill one day and this is just one of those so uh but i was just kind of trying to give you a few ideas there's so many food products that you can buy that are in decorative bottles so i did that in the color buttercream and now uh, i'm putting some crackle medium over it so you could do, you could use Elmer's glue here. This just happens to be Dixie Belle Crackle Medium. And um, I'm gonna put uh, white over the top of that. And, uh, and then it kind of gives it more of a uh, subtle crackle finish. So I just kind of wanted a little extra dimension here. Now this is a napkin and I wish I could tell you where, where this one came from. I can, but it won't help you uh, because my friend Frankie brought me several napkins and um, I know a lot of them she had ordered online from probably Amazon, but uh, this was just one, one that she brought and I love these colors and I wanted to use these on this bottle. So I just put some on the front and the back and then this bottle, because it has such a pretty shape to it, uh, is not going to need much done to it. Now, if you use a bottle that's not very decorative, then uh, I think it's a good idea to do a little more to it. But I'm going to be making a little hang tag here. And I'm kind of layering this hang tag up. And so I'm kind of antiquing those edges so that each layer really pops. So I put cardstock in the back. And then just a little book page. And now I'm going to stamp um, something on the front of that. Because this napkin has uh, a butterfly on it in, that is in, in black. So I thought it was kind of appropriate to just stamp a little butterfly on the top of this one. And, and then that's all that I'm going to do to this one. Just tie that around the top and it'll be finished. And I'm using just some... Uh, green lace here. This is just a curtain panel that I've had for years that I've just kind of cut into strips and I've been using on it for a long time. So um, I just felt like that green would pull out the green in the napkin and just add a little uh, extra touch to this. Oh, and I did uh, put some lace just around that top just to dress that up a little bit. And then that was all that I did to this. I think some of these bottles can be uh, done very quickly and it doesn't take much at all to, uh, to dress it up. And then I used that same napkin and decoupaged on the lemonade bottle and uh, put a hang tag on it and that's all that I had to do to that one. And now this is just a wine bottle that uh, someone brought me and I've had these for a while. Every now and then someone will bring me wine bottles. I don't even bother to take the label off uh, if I'm gonna be doing some sort of texture. And I am on this one. I'm putting the color sandbar on this, but I did change my mind. And uh, when I decided to add 
some texture, I also changed the color. So I'm adding buttercream to tea rose, and, uh, and then I'm mixing it with almost half baking soda because I don't want heavy, heavy texture, but I do want obvious texture. So uh, I'm just kind of uh, pouncing that on there. And then once it dried well, now I'm putting white wax. And as you can see, uh, that white wax settles into all that texture. And so that's why I wanted texture on this, just to make sure that my white wax uh, was able to um, have some area to kind of hang out in and, and change up the look of this. Now I'm just taking a little strip of undyed tea towel and making it the size of my stencil and then I'm just stenciling this on and this is just a, some sort of stencil that I got from Amazon. I'll try to link that in the in the description but um, and I'll also uh, link some of the other products that I'll be using in this um, but so I just used a piece of tea towel here, like I said, and now I'm cutting it the exact size of this little stencil. And then I'll just kind of fray those edges with my fingers because I do want the edges frayed, but I didn't feel like I could tear it that closely without messing up. So now I'm just gonna take some tacky glue and glue that on. Uh, you could use a number of glues. Uh, maybe a fabric glue would work with this. Uh, but because I was gluing onto this bottle, then I'm just using some tacky glue. And I didn't want to use hot glue on a piece like this because I was afraid I would see that glue underneath. And now I'm just taking that same tea towel and wrapping a strip around the top because I want to add some lace, but I don't want... The lace that I'm using is more of a wispy looking lace. So I didn't want to, uh, I wanted it to show up better. So I felt like it needed something solid behind it. So I did that to the top and the bottom uh, to add some extra texture. I think this look would be pretty just in a, with a white bottle, but I also think it would look real pretty with, the, uh, with a real light uh, teal blue. So once I get this lace on the top of the bottom, then I'm just gonna add some ra random stamping. And because this bottle is round, uh, some of my stamps could be stamped on this uh, and it would do okay. And I think I did stamp one on without using uh, and it's this long one here because I can kind of wrap that around. But for the most part, I'm just gonna stamp onto um, pieces of uh, either one layer of a napkin, which I think is what I do here, or you could also use just a white tissue wrap. But I'm just taking my large stamp here and stamping on a larger piece uh, so that I can tear it up and then add it randomly to my bottle. So I just keep adding script until I get it the way I want it. And then I think I add a little rose here on the front. And then I felt like it still needed a little something. I don't like to overdo them, but I, I just couldn't feel like this one was complete. So I had uh, some transfers that I got at the Dollar Tree. And um, I just kind of put some of that around the top and the bottom just to uh, just to give it a little something extra. And uh, I felt like that added enough. These transfers at the Dollar Tree, I know that they're very small, but uh, I feel like for $1.25 now, uh, it really is a good value and they're starting to uh, get more and more of them. And then that was all that I did to this bottle and it is complete. And then the next one that I'm going to be doing is uh, another one of those lemonade bottles. And um, I'm going to use some clay molds on this one. So um, I start out by giving it um, one coat of the color Farmhouse Green. 
and this is not the color that I'm going to be leaving this bottle, but I'm going to use a crackle finish on this one also. And um, I wanted this green to kind of show through, and it's going to be very subtle, but um, but it just I, li I like the look that it gives. So I put one coat of this on it and let it dry well and then put one coat of the crackle medium on it. And again, um, I used the Dixie Belle, but you could, uh, you could use glue and it would work just fine. So I put one coat on, on this, let it dry, and then, uh, and then I'm gonna use the color buttercream over the top. Someone suggested that I use, that I uh, add some water to my uh, crackle medium and then um, th it would make the crack smaller. Um, and it seemed like it, it did, but it worked r just fine. So I, I thought when I first tried the crackle medium that it was a little thick anyway. So I like the idea of watering that down and I don't remember who told me, but I thought it was a really good idea. So now I'm just going to make some different molds that I'm going to be using on the bottles and uh, I'm just going to kind of speed through this if you want more of a detailed uh, video on doing these clay molds I can attach one in the description but like I said I'm just going to kind of hurriedly go through making a few molds and I'll be using some of these on the bottles. And the mold I just used there was just a little fondue mold, or fondant mold, rather, uh, that I purchased on Amazon a while back. And uh, you can work use those just as well. This one is a, a an IOD mold, which are my favorite because they have a little ridge around each of the designs that make it very easy to neaten your edges up. So these are definitely my favorite, but... I have several redesigned ones that I use. This one's a redesigned one, um, and they work just fine, but that little ridge really is a big help, so I would love it if they all had that. Uh, now I'm just, I'm not even using a whole line of this. I'm just going to kind of do some pieces because the bottle that I'm going to be using this on, I'm kind of trying to create a frame somewhat. So I don't want a big long piece because I want to make some sharper turns. So um, just little pieces of this is going to work just fine. And here I am just adding some pieces of this to one of those bottles. And this one's already been painted. So I'm just going to kind of create um, more of an organic frame on the front. It's not going to have any particular shape. It's just going to have a little place so that uh, I can go back over this. I do have to paint the bottle again because of this uh, because of this mold on here. But um, after I do that and let it dry, then um, I just take some of um, I think I use a napkin on this, and I just tear a little piece from a napkin and put in that little area there and then um, that is enough to dress the front of this up. Then here I am just placing another small piece randomly at the top and I didn't show it but like I said I just decoupaged some of that napkin in the center of this and um, and that's all of the napkin that I'm going to be putting on here. So I go back over this one and clear coat it and, and then tie some scraps around the top. And one thing that I did miss here was I made some rose, uh, little rosettes and attached those to the cloth around the top. And I don't know how I missed that footage, but I do have another video on that as well. And then here's another little bottle that I thrifted and put a little mold on and some script and uh, just tied some lace around the top of that one. 
I had a busy day today and, and wasn't able to video as much as I wanted to. Now I'm taking a couple of these little bottles and I thrifted these also and putting some brighter color on them because I'm gonna be doing crackle finish on this one and I wanted these to really show up. So that was the color Peacock, which is a Dixie Belle color. And this one is, uh, I think this one is Ameth Amethyst. And now uh, I've already put the crackle finish on it. And so now I'm just putting the color Buttercream. And um, when you're putting that top coat on like that, just make sure that you don't double stroke any more than you have to because it'll mess up your crackle finish. These little bottles are gonna be very simple because they're small. So uh, I don't have to do much to dress these up. And uh, what I'm gonna be putting on these is something that I got from a website called The Graphics Fairy. Uh, if you look that up, there's a lot of free images on there that you can print off and cut out like I have here. And uh, now I'm just taking a little bit of antique, uh, antiquing around the edges. And this is just a distressing ink. Uh, but you can, I've used even brown eyeshadow for this. You can use anything you want. And now I'm just gonna decoupage that to the front and I'm not gonna worry with doing anything else to this one because I think it's enough to, uh, to make it look like a little, maybe a little perfume bottle or something. And then for the next one, um, I had some leftover rice paper that I had used almost all of that piece and just had just little small pieces left over. So I'm just decoupaging those pieces on uh, different areas of the bottle and as you can see here, it's real fibrous, uh, but it makes really good decoupage material. So I'm just decoupaging some on the front and the back. And um, as you can see, it deca decoupages really well. So if you've never tried using rice paper, then I highly recommend it. So then this one, I felt like it did need a little something tied around the top. So I tied just some lace around the top and now I'm putting a little hang tag on it. And, uh, and then this one will be finished. And then next is a another bottle that I had thrifted uh, that I'm decoupaging on. And this is another napkin that I got from Frankie. So again, I'm not sure where this one came from. I wish I knew because I would actually purchase more of these. But, and then I just put a little hang tag on the top of this with a little rooster on it. And um, that one was finished. I had painted this one and used a crackle finish on it. And then, and then decoupage that, um, rooster on it and now this is a little the little rooster mold this was one of the uh, iod sets and i'm just going to put this on another one of those little no this one's not even a whiskey bottle this was a, a glass flask and i just glued that to the top of that one and painted it the same color as the bottle and put some little script stamp on it and now I'm uh, adding some um, some Van Dyke Brown glaze, and that's a Dixie Belle glaze, but I really like the look that you get. Um, I like this look, especially for this, more than I do the brown wax. So this has more of a yellowy brown to it, and I just think it does a lot better at just making it look more aged. And yes, you can go right over this stays on ink where I put that little script stamp on there. You can go right over that as long as you let it dry for five to 10 minutes. And you can take this right over it and it doesn't uh, rub off. So once I finish this glaze, um, 
then I'm just going to tie some of this string to around the top and this I got from my sister she had thrifted it a while back and I've been using on it for a while I really like it but again I don't know where to tell you to get this so now I'm using some of this this is a cardstock that has script on it and another friend of mine brought this to me I think she got it from Amazon oh no she said she got it from Hobby Lobby uh, so this is going to be the background of my stamp and then I'm just I just tore a little piece of an old book page and antiqued around the edges of that and then I'll glue that on and I just put a little another piece of cardstock over the top just to, for a little extra design. I thought about putting a rooster on this one but there really wasn't space so I just um antiqued around another little piece and put over the top of that one. And then I'll tie that on and that really adds a little something to that bottle and I think that's all this one needs. And I really like how this one turned out. I think it has more of a simplistic look but I, I, I like that look. And so this was the last one, and I'll just kind of show you through um, some of the other bottles I did. Um, the one in the back there, I just pulled some uh, soft lace up around it and tied that. And I had done a crackle finish on, on it first. And then there's the one in the front that, that I didn't do on camera, and then the little rooster one. But I think the rest of those I did. I don't think I mentioned in the front there are a couple of bottles that those were just the Starbucks bottles and I just put a stamp, painted them white, put a stamp on the front and a hang tag. So sometimes you don't have to do much at all to really change up these bottles. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening. And God bless you and your family.